Back in 2016, I visited the Maniacs at the Comic Republic. It's about the most fun I'd ever had, and I got to meet this guy, G. Dave Martin. In 2018, I visited the new offices in Lagos. I didn't know then that two of their comics, Tatashe and Eru, would be shortlisted for the normal award. Hi, um, my name is Cassandra Mark. I'm a digital colorist and scriptwriter for the Comic Republic. Mm -hmm. and, and what are you working on now? Uh, um, well, I feel the project, um, I, we have a title coming out. Um, it's called Tatashe. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. it's um, an African fantasy project I've been mm -hmm. working on for about a year and it's coming out in November. It's really um, largely focused on Africa and food. Mm -hmm as it affects Africa. So you're going to see a lot of um, wacky fantasy elements. You're going to, going to really take you out of this while relying and having a very strong foundational root in African mythology, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And so um, apart from that, there are other child-friendly comics. There's Hiro Kikiri, mm -hmm. which I um, write and color frequently. Oh. Yes, the illustrator is um, Kilichi Isaac. Hiro Kikiri is a spoof, mm -hmm. or um, how do I put it, a funny narrative using all the characters in Comic Republic. Like we take the chance to take these characters out of the limelight and show them as they are, as Nigerians, going through their own wacky activity in um, what we call Hero City, the fantastical Hero City. And so these characters interact, they complain about things normal Nigerians complain about, they use uh, colloquial terms, you know, they speak pidgin if they feel like it. And so it's just this really interesting comic. It's, it's not exactly, the colors are very child friendly, but it's for children, it's for adults, it's for everyone, and everything in between, basically. And it's your hero list, but when mm. they were kids, yes? No, it's, it's not. It's more like it's they're chibi figures. Mm -hmm. It's all our heroes now, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they look cuter. Mm -hmm. They look more fun. They all have like you know like bubble heads, like mm -hmm. big heads on these little bodies, and they're just like going around and having fun and just you know talking funny. <laughs> I thought they were kids. No, 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 okay. They look like kids, they're like uh -huh. the kiddish figures of their grown selves, but they're very aware of who they are, you know, and sometimes they even break the fourth wall and try to communicate with the audience, especially in the recent one where the one we're releasing this year, mm -hmm. it's called Hiroke Kri Treasure Hunt. Mm -hmm. So we did a promo where we're putting each page at the back of every comic book as it comes out, and then at the end of the year you get the complete treasure hunt issue. Oh, okay. So it's really fantastical and holiday friendly, so yeah. It would be kind of nice if people could go down to little shrunken, much nicer right, a Much more accommodating it. size to walk mm. around and do things with him, son, yeah. And you know, having a, a base like Hero City, it's like Africa, but where are heroes? You know how um, mm -hmm. I kind of have this Disneyland sort of, I think it would be like the African, <laughs> it's like the African Disneyland, it's where the heroes' houses are, and you know, the, the traffic laws, and your own, mis um, how do I put it, the whole mystery and fantasy of your lives. Just I can there. see the Comic Republic theme park now. Right? You can on, just, on Lecky. <laughs> you can just imagine with, it, yeah, right? You go in, and mostly it's here yeah, at and it's like you Exactly. Sit, but then there's this really scary bit, which is for everyone. Yes, and, uh, like in this Oh, that's there. coming. I'm sure GD's already thought of it. I'm sure he's already on it. Yeah. I'm sure he's raising I, capital I, I, now. It's just, you just like this boom, next year we're having a Comic Republic theme Magic park at Comic Connect. does not have a really good theme park anymore. Right, yes, we actually, yes, we actually don't have something that beautiful and it's going to be completely based on African heroes, you know, yeah. so I think that'll be, that would Probably actually cool. be a very good idea. And, and you know, the aim is not to make Nigeria a tourist destination, so. What? Exactly, yes, the tourism will They should, just... half of Eco Atlantic should be the Comic Republic. That's what I think. What? <laughs> Half of Echo Atlantic should be Half the Comic Echo. Republic. It wow. should be called the Comic Republic. Well, I'm sure that our thoughts will reach <laughs> the upper class pretty soon. Okay. But yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, well that's just awesome. Thank you. It's great. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, it's fun. Uh, uh, my name is Tobin Manches I am uh -huh. the creative director and chief operating officer of Comic Republic. Uh -huh. uh, I'm working on a number of stuff, but uh, my most recent work is um, writing Amadi uh, Oha, releasing um, Hero Generation, which I, you know, I wrote the story and I also colored. And um, let's see, what else am I working on? I'm still working on Hero Generation. I'm about to release uh, two other titles that I'm also drawing: uh, mm -hmm. Black Moon and Patashe. And I'm really excited about it too because you know, Afro manga type storylines. Um, 
I don't know if Afro manga is a word. You just came yeah. up with it. It's a brilliant word. I mean, I would have a comic called Afro manga, you know? Maybe we should come up with something more brilliant. No, no, that's perfect. Wow, um, yeah. Afro manga, I love it. Um, so, um, basically, Tadashi is a story that I'm illustrating for um, Cassandra Mark. Mm -hmm. She's the creator of the idea. And, you know, it's basically about food. I don't know if you've watched things like Toriko or Shingeki no Soma. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very food centric, but. So it's, it's a kind of a comic about food? Yeah, it's not yeah. really about food. It's more like food is the theme of the story. Oh, but of the story, okay. Yeah, but it's more about this crazy girl's adventure in a food centered world. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the pages, um, and if you can look at it, there's like popcorn buildings. Um, <laughs> Mushroom, popcorn buildings. Yeah, popcorn buildings, oh, mushroom, wow. ice cream buildings, bread buildings. Okay. There's a Moi Moi castle somewhere. I'm going to pull this back up so I can hear you a bit more. So, so the, um, there's a, a lot of ways. So there's even pyramids with bagels, bagel towers and melon buildings and things That's like brilliant. that. It's brilliant. I love it. It's just brilliant. weird like that. That's one of the reasons why I love it. Okay. The Comic Republic publishes a huge range of titles, about one a week. They also do motion comics, and they recently had major commissions from German TV and the BBC. The CEO, G.D. Martin, recently opened up a branch office in London. So 200 Africans will be talking to Comic Republic again soon. Next, to Toby and his brother Oz about their comic, Eru. In the meantime, check out the Comic Republic's universe at www thecomicrepublic.com.